What is great in the state? It is the Radio Rockstar, the Fade Runner. I'm about to destroy your son. Oh, I yeah? You're gonna really? Enjoy this because I am. Wow. Okay. So, what a way to start the show. It is the Radio Rockstar, the Fade Runner. G Money's in the house. Watch your mouth. And that's Justin Storm. And he was talking to one of our newest broadcast colleagues sitting with me right here, Mr. George Kane. How you doing? Good, good. Welcome. Yes, indeed. And not only that, we are joined by the owner of RWC himself, Mr. Dex Carter. Dex, how you feeling? I'm doing great, man. George, it's, it's great to have you, bud. I, like I appreciate this. it. Yes, indeed. Look, we are going to the Max. We are in Maxton, North Carolina. Maxton, man. This, this feels good. This, yeah. this feels a little bit like it's, home. You it's, know? A, it's a little different. It's a little different, but we're here. <laughs> and Justin Storm is talking enough trash. He's I mean, a he's, chirper. He's feeling yeah, himself I mean, a little he bit. Needs yeah. to, he needs to worry about his opponent. Yeah. Instead of his opponent's father. Speaking of, Mr. Daniel Murphy is making his way to the ring as we speak. Now, George. Yes, sir. How many times have you seen your son wrestle? Uh, probably a dozen at this point now. Okay. All right. All right. How does it feel? It's kind of surreal, yes. to be honest. I can imagine. I can imagine. I mean, when you have a, such a talented son like him, man, I, I, you, you got to feel kind of proud, though, right? I am pretty proud. He came from the ball fields, as you can see. He's leaning into his uh, athleticism, and then we'll see what, what happens. Right. Definitely ready to get this first match well, started. Uh, well, well, hold yeah. on. Before we get started, I uh -huh. do have to ask, you yeah. know, as the owner. Sure. George, George can you be biased? Unbiased. I can Unbiased. Be, he can be. He I definitely can, can be. I can biased. be really biased. <laughs> I mean, uh, no. I, I tried can, to throw the trick question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I can be unbiased. Yes. You can be unbiased. Okay. All, All right. right. All right. Cool. I've seen him get it, and I've seen him give it. So we'll see what happens today. I, I did hear some chops ring last night at Golden Opportunity. So yeah. we'll see how he does right now. All right. Bell is just rang. And it's going to be Justin Storm yeah. versus Daniel Murphy opening action at Maxton. Tried for the tie up in the middle of the ring. There's a reversal. There you go. Daniel Murphy showing some technical wrestling skill right there. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. These two right here in the training center, man, they're, they're, uh, these are two of the most developing superstars that we have right now. I, I love to see them every Wednesday and Sunday go at it. So 
I'm definitely glad to be able to do it in front of a crowd. Oh, nice leg sweep. <laughs> now Justin is uh, engaging with the crowd. It's a little premature. Yeah, maybe. No, uh -oh. kick out. Went back. Goes the line, misses. Here comes Daniel Murphy. Oh, misses the line and whoa! Wait a minute, sunset oh, flip. Two. Oh, no. that was almost a quick victory for your son, Mr. Daniel Murphy. Oh, missed. Let's see what happens here. First into the ropes. Irish Irish oh, oh, nice shoulder, shoulder block. I like it. Oh, oh he said he's too small. small. Has I he been watching that. the NBA playoffs? I, I think he has. I, I think he has. Okay. Here we go. Setting him up for the vertical suplex. Nice new suplex. One, cover. two. Oh, nah, not going to work on that one. Not yet, not, not yet. I, I like this new added more. confidence from Daniel Murphy. He, he was a little shy coming in, but I, I'm, I'm liking this. I, I feel like he is growing into his own. Is, is this the same type of confidence that he would show at his baseball games? Oh, absolutely. He was a catcher. Okay. So you got to have some attitude. You got to have some attitude to be a catcher. That's right. <laughs> Sit there and have 90, 80, 100 mile an hour balls coming at you, man. Right. You, you got to be able to stand there. And everybody's and attention on you because you're the closest person to the stands. That's true. Of course, uh, Justin is uh, giving him a little boot there. <laughs> Definitely getting that ref count up as high yeah. as he could. And he is talk, talking to you yeah, again. Yeah, I know. He, he, he's he's really engaging with me. He needs a, oh, oh, see, oh, there you go. That's Took what gets you hit oh, Yeah, but not enough right now. Not enough. Oh. Oh, oh. oh all right. Oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, got interrupted again. Boot to the back. Oh, laying the, laying the knee in, choking uh, him. Uh, hey, yeah. hey. Ref, you can't let, him, let that happen. Just because he has a five count doesn't mean he gets yeah, to use yeah. all five of the count. Justin Storm's coming off some victories from Fairmont, so I, I think he's feeling himself a little too well. You know, and, and he didn't have a bad showing in the golden oh, opportunity. There we go, either. another knee he to did. the back. I think he had one or, one or two eliminations. Yep. Yeah. yeah. He was in the middle of the action there for quite a while. It's definitely a new new era in RWC. Definitely, oh, it definitely a new era. Is. Definitely it is. You know, I remember it was only a couple years ago when I was the new guy. And now, now oh, seeing all these real, real new guys. You weren't born wrestling? <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> born DJing. Actually. <laughs> actually. There we go. <laughs> is he going to? Is he going? Look, look at him. Oh, fight oh, now. Oh, fight oh, now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Two. Look, oh, that was a look, that, nice, that was nice a, counter. Yes, it was. Man, Good man, flexibility. Was, yeah. Gave him a moment to get his breath. Right. Oh, 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 rising knee strike. I, I think the lights just got turned out. Yeah. Right uh -oh. to the chin. Yeah, this may not be looking good for, that, for him. Uh, well, I know what's coming yep, up. Yep, yep. Oh. oh. Running drop kick in the corner to the face of Daniel Murphy. And he, I don't think he knows where he's at right now. No, I think he's definitely seeing stars. Uh, it's Maybe. definitely not Fuqua Verena. We, we got the smelling salt in the back, so. But Justin Storm, instead of capitalizing. Still he, chirping. Just too much talking. Could this, could this be the final? Going for the, uh, oh, no, 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 no. wait a minute. Oh, oh. big clothesline. Big Great time clothesline. Line. One, two. two. Oh. oh. Thought Daniel had that victory in hand, man. Man, almost. Daniel Murphy firing up the crowd. Yep, yeah. yeah, getting the crowd in love it. Taking yes, it to it the is. max. Taking it to the max, baby. Here we go. And oh. 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 suplex. Stay on him, Daniel. Stay on him. Going for the cover. You see, you see the difference. Whenever Daniel Murphy makes a move, he goes for the win. That's when right. Justin Storm gets the advantage, he starts talking to people. Smart wrestling, man. That's smart wrestling. Trying to make sure that he doesn't have time to recuperate. Oh. Uh -oh. Come on, Daniel. Give him one. Give him one. There you go. There's, a, there's there you another go. one back. 
Oh, oh there's another. And there's so another one. It's a back They're going and back and forth. forth. Yep, back and forth elbows. Oh, another forearm. Oh, oh, and that one took him oh. down. Going for the cover right there. Oh, oh. oh. yeah. yeah rolled, rolled him a little, a little too, bit much. too much. Yeah. Come on, Daniel, stay on him. Capitalize, stay on him. Picking him up. Oh, went for another line, miss. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. He, he caught the boot. Caught it. Yep. He's not taking advantage, though. He's not. He's trying to get the crowd into it. Yeah, he, he could be taking some. Oh, oh Enzo Gurry. Yeah, he gave Justin just a little bit too much time. Enzo Gurry to the face. That's definitely not what we want to see right there. The referee had to check on him. Make he sure may that think he he's good. still back on a ball field at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he swings for a home run, will we take that against him? No. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Break little, to the eyes. Little, little cheap tactics there, you know. Oh, oh, oh. man. Big. That might be lights out. Reverse leg lariat. <laughs> Two. Oh, yeah. man. And it's done. And Justin Storm comes away with the victory. I have a feeling I'm going to get a visit here in a second. Yeah. What did I say? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yep. there he is. You're right. Over here to chirp. Yeah. We're working here, sir. We're working. There's the mouth running. Yep. He doesn't even want the ref to raise his hand. Mr. Justin Storm. Yes, sir. What did I tell you? I, I saw. What did I, tell I saw. You? I saw. But you almost let it get away huh? from you. You almost let it get away from you. Almost doesn't count. Too much it's chirping. Like horseshoes and, and hand, hand grenades. grenades. And this is a storm, baby. Yeah. All right. Let's see it. And Justin there was Justin Storm. Storm. Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, yeah. I, I like a little attitude, though. I, yeah. I kind of like that. I like One that. match down, more to go. Look, we've got more action coming your way from going to the max out here in Maxton. Going to the max, baby. All Showing right. love to his son. Right. Wow. We gonna show up. We can't help it. Wow. R R W W C C. Ladies. And we're back in Maxton, North Carolina with Miss Amanda Kiss coming in the ring. I am Dex Carter, the owner of RWC, here with George, George, our brand new commentator, and we are here with our special guest, Mr. R.J. Weaver. Thank Mr. you Weaver. for having me, Dex. How are you, man? I'm great. I'm blessed to be a part of this today. Good, good, man. Good. And her opponents. Did we check the ring for foreign substances today? So, <laughs> just about to get into that with Miss Audrey Allen here. Uh, these are the two top to con contenders for our women's championship. And last night, you know, in Golden Opportunity, we had our first ever women's championship match. And that, uh, that went to a no contest due to Miss Audrey Allen with some foreign objects. What did you guys think about that match last night? It was kind of funny. I mean, she found something on the ring apron, and well, I, I got to talk to our refs about having, you know, ring equipment next to uh, certain people. When you guys matter of fact, uh, Mr. Mr. Justin Storm coming. In fact, I want to sit right there next to him. Oh, well, here you go, sir. Right. You can well, you can have on. my seat then. You, you oh, can wow. have oh, Justin's trying to tie up in the middle of the us. ring. The ladies are trying to tie up in the middle of the ring. Justin's getting his gear on. You're welcome, by the way. Oh, well. For I, my presence. Hey, you know. Now we're going to watch the second best match of the card. I had the first, obviously. 
plenty more to come. Plenty more to come. We'll see how it all turns out today. Side headlock applied by Audrey to M Amanda. Oh, with Kiss with another strike, trying to overpower Audrey Allen over here. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. That's a powerful woman right there. All her power comes from those thick thighs she has, strength. And those 20-inch pythons, sir. I don't see Hulk Hogan in there, but he may be right. She's better than Hogan. <laughs> that I will agree with. This kiss. Oh. oh. We're about to have our first fall in the match. Oh, and Kiss counters to an impressive head scissors. It's not that impressive. Clearly, Amanda doesn't like kids like me. Yeah, she's engaged with the crowd, trying to get them pumped up. No one cares what these idiots and yeah. wherever hey, the we are. Max and are pretty appreciative. No one oh. knows where Max is. Oh. Audrey with the counter, back into the side headlock. My goodness, this woman has an impressive feat of strength. Oh, work in the midsection. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Those shoulder broad tackle. shoulders are being put to use right there. And the referee's gonna go for the fall. And Kiss kicks out at two. I think that ref needs to learn how to count faster. We have a problem in here in this company with refs counting slow, like that last D8 in my match. And Allen with an impressive clothesline and follows it up with a back elbow. You know what? I'm tired of seeing clotheslines today. Is she gonna? She follows it up with a body slam, and she's gonna go for the cover one more to end this match. And Kick out again? Yeah, but how many times can she keep kicking out like this? And now it goes for the well, headlock one more time. She's wearing that head down. That's getting less oh, air. Oh, kisses it. Kiss drags her into the corner. The referee's gonna break it up. Ooh. Ooh. Tough. Oh, oh. Oh, Allen oh, goes for a schoolboy. And again, Kiss kicks out. Oh, oh one clothesline. And the elbow. Up with a back elbow. Argy's got to stay on her. Kiss counters. Oh, nice. And stops Allen's momentum right in the tracks. As an MMA fighter and a Muay Thai fighter, I appreciate a good knee. Come on, and a good choke. And a little choke. Oh, and she pushes the oh, ref. Oh, oh. Hey, the bell. That's it. That's and it. kiss. I think she was a little upset last night with being struck with the uh, the wrench. Huh. Little extracurriculars. She wasn't so tough last night when Audrey had that wrench in her hand, though. Audrey As much as I enjoy putting my hands on referees, you can't do it in the ring, so she kind of deserves that one. And like Dex mentioned earlier, these two women are on the hunt for the RWC Women's Championship. Wow, we gonna show up. We can't show up. Wow. R R W W C C. Ah, oh, great! I have to be joined by another one of these guys. What's your name? My name's Jay Sway. Nice to meet you, Justin. Huh. I wish I could say it was nice to meet you. you just gonna stick right, around sorry. all day. Oh, absolutely! I've already dusted off my easy opponent for the day, yeah. so I might as well spectate on the rest of my competition. Not nice. sure if that was an easy opponent. I think he had you reeling there for a I'm moment. I'm sorry. I don't remember asking you. And by the way, you need to learn how to count faster. That match could have been over. There was no need for that extra choke. If you would have counted the pin faster, we wouldn't have got to that. I counted the pin at the same rate I count every pin. One fall. Coming to the ring first. Whose music is this? Ah, the mad musician entered into a golden opportunity rumble last night. I remember him, put up a heck of a fight. 
Yeah, he's got to be mad if he actually thought he had a chance to win that last night. We're actually trained professional athletes. Who is this guy? Nice mask. Yeah, you see that smell? That's the same smell I had on my face when I was beating your son to the pulp. <laughs> That's not a regular smile. That's the smile of a real sadistic man right there. A man who's ready to tear up anybody who steps in his way. Sadistic, that's a pretty big word for you, huh? Joe is taunting the crowd, letting them know how he feels about him. He's making sure to get in every single person's face, too. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't get Even too the close. Baby. I wouldn't get too close to these people in Maxton. Real children of the corn vibes out here. That spectator looks like he might want to get into it with Joe. That old man, he'd probably break a hip stepping in the ring. Musician and a dancer in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, five bucks says he does the stupid little dance. You're guaranteed to get a dance anytime he comes to the ring. Positive vibes all around from. Oh, and he's dancing with the baby. As you mentioned, positive vibes. But Rip Cannon has been on a bit of a tough adversity streak recently, coming up short in the Golden Opportunity Rumble last night. Yeah, he's a real loser for not winning that match. Didn't you lose that match too? No, I just didn't win. Oh, look, he's doing the dance. Yo, ho, 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 ho. And get the ref to, to dance. Well, you dance off beat. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check him. Make sure you check him good. Joe trying to give him a little dance lesson. and really I don't know if he knows this or not, but this is a wrestling match. Not you got served. How about you do some wrestling moves? You know, Rip Cannon, to his credit, is a former television champion. So I think he does know a little bit about wrestling as well as his dancing ability. Oh, he's a former television champion. Oh, do you see a TV in here? And that doesn't matter. I agree on there. This town is a rinky dink. There's literally a haunted barn right next door. Joe, Joe is taking in the. Uh, natural aroma of the uh, the environment here and giving the crowd a little bit of uh, feedback on what he smells. Yeah, you ever notice how all these flies are buzzing around? It's because this town stinks. Well, are we going to wrestle or are we going to chirp at the crowd? I was going to say, if Jodo oh, keeps talking to the crowd, he might get tired before he even starts. Oh, now you want to wrestle. You were just two-stepping like five seconds ago. Tie up in the middle of the ring. Side headlock. I don't know how he's putting that much pressure with those skinny arms on the back of Joe Doe's neck, but somehow he is. Oh, reversal. Great counter by Joe Doe there. I wouldn't call it great, it was all right. Now, Joe's got size. That's how you apply a, a headlock. Ooh, wrenching it back down. Thought he had a friend, huh? I think Joe's talking to him about his dance moves. Dancing's overrated. Oh, nice counter, elbow to the chest. Wrenching that arm. 
Now he wants to be a he wants to be a dancer and a rapper. Catches it again. Oh, uh, doing it again. Crowd calling for a third wrench. Oh, he can do a wrist lock. That's yeah, really impressive. Oh. What do they have in store for us next? Jojo looking to break the wrist lock. Now that is some classic technical wrestling from Jojo. Got ripped down to one knee. His last name might be Doe, but he is cooking Rip Cannon right now. his own wrist lock in. Roll through. Another roll through. Oh. oh. I'd be that athletic too if I weighed 100 pounds. You don't weigh much more than that. But I don't weigh 100 pounds. All right. Oh. 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 Joe with the eye poke. I didn't see an eye poke. What are you talking about? Rip is uh, fighting the... Turnbuckle. I don't know if you guys know this or not. Rip Cannon can't see, period, okay? He is now fighting the other turnbuckle. He's probably got a better chance of beating that turnbuckle than he does Joe Doe right now. Shoo, chop to the chest. Rip really feeling the effects of that one. Going over to the next corner. My man's got such okay. a hollow chest. That's why I made such a big sound. Section working him down. Oh. Just laying him in there. That was the best two step I've seen all day. I think Rip is uh, having some issues with the ropes. No, he's tasting that gross max in the air. Joe is uh, explaining the rules to the ref. Oh, His strikes are a little labored because he was yeah. having trouble breathing, but Joe sends him right back down where he belongs. <laughs> Looks like Cannon's getting ripped apart right now. Oh, well, threw him, uh, tried to throw him out of the ring. Rip recovered a little bit. Rips coming back through the ropes. There's that ring awareness. Yep. Going up to the top. Going to fly. Oh. Beautiful forearm by Rip Cannon there off the top rope. He had to jump to use gravity to get some weight on that elbow because if he would have tried it from the ground, he wouldn't have had enough force. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. He knocked Joe off his, off his feet. Sick. Gravity got him a two count there. That's right. If that was me, it would have been three. Oh, laying him in. Joe's Joe's on the ropes. Rip not quite able to get him off on the first attempt. Nope. Goose. Oh, yep. Oh, oh! That was a brutal, brutal clothesline. I think Rip actually did two 360s, a, a full flip there. That would be what a 360 is. Yes, I know, I know. That might not just hurt Rip Cannon, that might have hurt his kids too. Which one? He's got like seven. All of them. That's how big that clothesline was. He's persistent. Two two counts in a row. Rip trying to get to the corner. A corner. Oh. Nah. That's right, Joe. Stay on him. Laying a knee into him. And Joe Doe really putting the mad and mad musician here, continuing to use the ropes to his advantage. Is he really a musician? What instrument does he play? Well, his shirt says he's a musician, so we have to go with what we're given. Really? Because your shirt says you're a bodybuilder, and I clearly don't see you hitting a gym. And that guy's oh. wearing stripes, and he clearly can't cut it as a referee. 
Is that just because you lost last time I roughed your match? Listen here. Uh-oh. Oh, rip went over the top. Some dancing. Caught him in the corner. Good snap there. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've seen this before. Close line. And we have a. Oh. Two oh, count. Two. You really thought that was going to be enough to finish Joe Doe? Well, a nice little jump rotation in a close line? Joe was. Oh, nice. Stepped on his foot. Uh oh. What do we got here? Back elbow. Discus. Oh. Rip Cannon calls that the last shot. That back forearm to the back of the head has knocked out plenty of people. Will knock out Joe Doe. Look at that. The referee hopped higher than Rip did. But I guess it was enough to finish Joe Doe. Hey, five bucks as he dances again. Well, let's give some props to Joe Doe here. That was his first singles match here in RWC. And he put up one heck of a performance against Rip Cannon. We don't give props to losers around here. Came off of a uh, wonderful performance in the Golden Opportunity, and now he had a decent showing against Rip. Wonderful? Did he win? Again, you didn't either. But I didn't lose. We're well, speaking of winning. Could True. this be the tie turner for Rip Cannon? He has suffered a lot of losses lately. Could this be a shifting of the tides? Hopefully, hopefully it gives him a little momentum. We'll see what his next opportunity is. Well, hopefully he starts shifting his hips towards the exit, so I don't have to look at his face anymore. We get it. You won. Ladies, he's got to. He's going to dance with the family. Come on. Wow. We gonna show up. We can't show up. Wow. R R W W C C. And we're back in Maxton. Unfortunately, I have the, I wouldn't say pleasure, but I'm being joined by two guys on commentary. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? My name is George. What's your name? Oh, I'm referee Trevor. I count to three. Yeah, you need to learn how to count to three faster. You did a little slow in my match earlier. But anyway, we have R.J. Weaver here in the ring. Made his debut last night in the Golden Opportunity. He also didn't win, but you know. That's a, that's a neither. But I didn't lose. But that's a bright, uncoming star who had hit the ground in RWC training camp, and now look at him. Yeah, he lost. Even, what about you? He may be uh, regretting his uh, decision here in a minute. And his well, he got great ability of flying, though. The RWC Heavyweight Champion, AJ <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I hope RJ has insurance because he's going to need st nationwide, State Farm, Geico, everything because. Look at the size of this man. But Justin, did you know that AJ is one half of the NWA USA Tag Team Champion, now the new RWC Champion? And oh, really? Is that what those belts stand for? Oh, yeah, that's what the belts stand for. And by the way, that was one heck of a fight last night with Fodor when he took that belt. Yep, he beat Psycho Fodder last night. Well, look how big, look how big he is. I guess his reward for beating Fodder last night is this gimme match against this tiny of a man in R.J. Weaver. Yeah, he had a kind of an impressive showing last night in the Golden Opportunity. He's fast, he's athletic, but one spear from Jim Stone sent that man careening over the ropes, and he lost. I'm fairly certain I saw his soul leave his body there. In fact, second. he was the first loser. Hold on, hold on, Justin, now. You think you could beat A.J.? Given the opportunity, the chance to step in the ring with A.J., I don't know history about him, huh? I heard he was from Texas. No, my bad. He from the Bull Ranch, we have just Tennessee. That R.J. Weaver has requested time to speak to our new heavyweight champion. 
Well, glad he's getting his last rights out of the way. <laughs> Hopefully he brought his will with him too. Oh, he got you in the real since y'all both lost last night. This is about to be the first murder we ever had. Oh, yes, it is. I wonder who's going to clean the blood up. Are you? We may need a new ring mat. Or put Justin out there since Justin's a bad boy. He need to go ahead and jump in there. Help his, help his buddy out. I like the confidence. Hopefully we have the paramedics on standby. I know Dex has a lot of money, so hopefully he can buy two ambulances. One for his top half and one for his bottom half. Oh, no, nah, it's going to be the split in half. We're just going to go, go ahead and call the morgue. I don't think he's a weight at all. I think it's featherweight. Uh, I'm a featherweight, and no, he's not. Right. We're going Here by we kilograms. Go. AJ is sizing up his competition and has decided that. Well, it won't take him that long. Yeah, I think that's what I was seeing in his eyes. Ooh. Oh, Backed him into the corner. This is like David and oh, Goliath. He just said, that's mercy. AJ is just torn with him right now. Tying up again. Ooh. Feel good. That kid really loves wrestling so much that he decided to kiss the mat. I hope he told his mom he loved him. AJ is uh, singing. Oh, wait. Hey, no, he uh, can't that, do that. This is not good. I oh. Oh. Missed with the elbow. There's a little bit of that speed from last night. Let's see how it affects him. Well, if you heard what I said earlier, RJ just hit the ground running. He did drilly. He did yeah, he hit the ground all right. But I don't think he was running uh, afterwards. Maybe running back oh. to the back. Side. Same thing you did last night. See here, got, got out of the side head. Oh, oh, applying his own. Hopefully he doesn't pop his head off. Hey, I hope you brought your catcher's mitt because that head's about to go popping off any second now. Like his body, his Tried. body is not even there no more. Tried to use his, uh, the rope. The Rex asking RJ if he wants to give up. He probably should have said, "Yeah." This mess right here is just oh. like what AJ said. He fought a oh, bull. He's oh, RJ using a little. Uh, AJ said he oh. fought a bull oh. when he was young. I think this is the bull that he he wants. should have stayed down, but, you know, hey, got to give him credit for the, det the determination here. AJ had him in that headlock so long, a little delirious. Oh. He kissed the ring again. again. Yeah, there's that hitting the ground running you were talking about. And I see him run away. It's like earlier you almost didn't run, right? I believe I won, right? You might won, but hey, he had you. Oh, yeah, he, he had oh, me oh, oh, losing. Oh. <laughs> what the world? It's like a cat and think, mouse game. I think AJ has a fly on his back. Yeah. Oh. Now, if you wanted to keep that chokehold in, he should have used his legs to body rock that body. Oh, oh. nice toe, Greg. Back to the headlock. This right here is like a cat and mouse game right here. Oh, rolled him. Oh, back and forth. AJ knew it was too soon. He got a wicked, he got a wicked it. Give him a head bump like he did that boy. Weaken him? That kid doesn't even have any strength as it is. Look at that. He punched him in the spleen. His ribs aren't even there. It don't look like he got ribs. Corner to corner. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, no. He should yeah, that wasn't up. good. Yeah, that agility didn't help then, did it? Oh. I wouldn't call that a body slam. He doesn't really have that much of a body. He should have just stayed down. It should have been a three. You know, they say there's a thin line between bravery and stupidity, and that thin line is his belt. Nah, I think RJ 
Dre knew what he was doing when he got in this match. I don't think he did. Now, if the ref was smart enough, he just end this based on pure mercy. Ooh. Bridge up. Oh, and a stomp from AJ. Now, the referee was smart. He'll talk to AJ until AJ oh, didn't have mercy on his shoulder. Did RJ get his soul back this morning or, or after he left the show last night? The crowd was cheering for RJ and AJ just said, really? That's what you want to do? Well, there's a lot of children in this crowd and they probably see RJ as a friend considering he looks 12. Now more like 13. You gotta go up a number, you gotta make him legal. I don't think 13's legal oh, anymore. Dropping it. Kind of legal to get in the ring. Slamming those big elbows into his shoulder. One of AJ's elbows is the size of RJ's entire body. So if you was in this position, Justin, what would you do? If I was in this, well, I wouldn't be in this position. All right, but if I was, I would have did exactly what he did. Stand up to alleviate the pressure off the arm. Wouldn't have did that. Good choice, good choice. Oh! This, he do not got no heart no more. There's no more heart with that chop from AJ. Uh, he yeah, know that, he's not going to uh, put that. Uh, he know that was AJ, not going to happen. AJ went for the big splash and oh! Come on out. Good to, stay. For RJ. Good to stay on him, RJ. Hey, stay on. Stay on. Work. Working the headlock again. Justin, how, how, you had a pleasure working with RJ in the training camp. How was that, sir? He's never beaten me. And that's exactly why. The kid's too small. He's got speed. He's got talent. He's got heart. Everyone's got a heart. Unless you're dead. And this kid's about to be. So should we call 911 or 119? What is 119? That was for 911. I think AJ is uh, getting uh, tired of playing with RJ here. Backs him into the corner. Oh, big shoulder. Oh, he is messing up that guy ribs. What ribs? Out for the day, we're going to scratch him up. We're going to have to scrape him off the uh, mat. Oh, ducked. Oh, missed Oh, Ooh, he know that yeah, close that, line ain't gonna work. work. Oh, that's two. And caught him with a boot. AJ is on the ropes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He tried to go for a double leg takedown, but it's stuffed by AJ. Now he's got a current choke applied. He's putting pressure on the back of his neck while those arms are suffocating Reaver. He ain't gonna have no neck after the day. RJ is working the side. I don't, I don't think those are having the same way that AJ's are, because AJ's now giving them back to him and well. Well with the size of like RJ, I will work on the legs. I'm gonna get a big guy down is by taking him out by his legs. Drop kick from RJ, sends AJ into the corner. Laying some forearms in. Reverse whip. Ooh, nice back elbow. Caught AJ with an elbow when he tried to follow him into the corner. Nice cross body. He got him down, all he gotta do is stay on him. The cross body though, his momentum carried him off of AJ and it wasn't really good. RJ trying to work the crowd. If he can just stay on with AJ, he can have this match won. That's a crazy mistake RJ's right there. RJ's getting ready to try and fly. Let's see how this works out. Well, hopefully there's a gust of wind so it helps carry him. Oh. Nice frog. Splash, but AJ threw him halfway across the ring. Frog, that was more of a tadpole splash. don't like your competitors, do you? Look, he's a junior heavyweight, I'm a junior heavyweight. One day, I'm gonna have to step in the ring with that kid. Oh! 
Well, never mind, because this kid's getting sent to the morgue. AJ with the win after he nearly decapitated RJ. I can't believe the kid is still moving, though. But thank you for having me, Justin. Nice man with you. Are you really going to stay here all day? Look, someone has to have intelligence when speaking to these people that are watching this video at home. Think I'm going to let them suffer through hearing your voice the entire day? This is true. This is true. I'm just glad that Trevor kid's out of, out of here. All right. AJ collecting his gold. That's our champion. It's going to be very tough to throw in a guy that size. But I will admit, RJ had a nice showing. But once again, he's a loser. I, th I think AJ found something in his hat. Up, oh, showing him some respect, RJ. AJ's calling for the mic. He stood up, RJ. RJ, is it? Showing up to going up to and then having a fight of his life against our heavyweight champion. They had a fantastic showing by our new champion. Absolutely. Yeah, he did a great job, but guess what? He didn't win. You know, RJ may not have won, but he did gain, I guarantee you, he gained some valuable experience in there working with a veteran like AJ. Wow, we're going to show up. We can't show up. Wow. R-R-W-C-C. from one champion to the next, a fellow international superstar, Xander Keys. Now he might have the title I covet around his waist, but recently me and him have formed a, an agreement as such, that being the only international superstars on the roster that we have to look out for each other for now. I thought he was from Arabia, North Carolina. No. Uh, He's from Dubai. Okay, that explains why he thinks he's a junior heavyweight. They use that funny metric system over there. Look, all that matters is that he's the champion. This is true, this is true. He does have gold around his waist. I'm telling the referee to open the ropes for him as a sign of respect as champion. He's earned that right, he's got the title. I may not agree with his methods all the time, but that is one thing you have correct. He is the champion for a reason. Doing his pre-match ritual. Oh, now he's asking for a microphone. And now this we're going to have the honor to hear what Xander Keys has to say. Do we have to? I wonder what he's going to yell at us for this time. Maybe he'll even speak in his native language so you idiots can get cultured. The 
man said stand up. Everyone needs to stand up and give this man respect. You are such a follower. I am not a follower. That's right, these people don't deserve to see this title on the line. And they won't have to because he just said he's not going to defend. That's smart. These people don't deserve this. All right, I'm sitting back down because no one cares about his opponent. How can you tell? They're all children. This is true. They are much taller than the ring. I'm glad he brought that flag out because he's going to be waving it soon when Xander beats him to the pulp and he needs to give up. I don't think Xander likes the USA champ. Xander likes much of anything. This is true. You know what he does like? Not being in Maxton. He also likes fancy things. I don't know if you noticed when he came out, that silk balaclava and those Gucci shades. My man is dripped in nothing but gold and pristine. Meanwhile, this guy comes out with a bright green headband, tassels. What is this? He's a part of Team Sexy. At Team Sexy, no strangers to gold themselves. Former tag team champions in a lot That's of promotions. Right. Team Sexy, I'm sorry. Where's the sexy? We're it's in the out. eye of the beholder. Well, you guys must have eyes like Rip Cannon because I don't see anything. I see something in front of me that's truly uh, magnificent. Our champion is uh, trying to quiet the, quiet the crowd. I mean, clearly we're in the USA. You guys don't have to remind us. We come all the way from our countries to entertain you guys, and all you guys want to do is remind us that we're in America. All right. Getting ready to tie up in the ring. Of course, I think the, uh, the champ is going to uh, exit the ring. He's, he is engaging with the crowd again. Because they're being distracting. All right. My man is trying to focus on the match, and they're sitting here chanting at him. He does have an opponent. I mean, Mr. Mr. Magnificent is uh, uh, going to break the hold. Look at the strength nice waist lock of our there. junior heavyweight champion. Oh. 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 Oh, great. More yeah. dancing. I don't think that Xander appreciated that. Oh, he Ooh. just told him we dance when we want to. Yeah, his fingers just danced across his face. How do you like that? Look at that. That kid has a little... Flag upside down. Xander, oh, oh, return slap. Those aren't flags, those are stickers. Come on. They're still waving. Them. Well, Mr. Magnificent's about to be waving this victory goodbye if he keeps talking to these children. Throws him into the road. By what are you talking about? Xander clearly slipped. I just want to point out this is a very important match for Xander. He did just win the title at the Dog Festival, so he does need to make sure that he is not giving up any losses here. Especially. Look, Xander is our champion for a reason for now. He's tough, resilient. He just got slammed to the ring. And he rolls to the outside. And he rolled outside. He's got a 10 count to get back in now. Referee's got to make sure he's sticking to that. Of course, the, uh, the youngsters are waving their flags in his face. He tried 
tried to start the UAE chant. They drowned that out with the USA chant. Just Look at that. He's pulling him by the hair. That's dirty. That's a cheap trick. But luckily, Xander's too crafty to let a simple hair pull distract him. So we're going to talk about a dirty, not just a hair pull. But say, neither of them have hair. So where was the hair pull? What are you, blind? What I did see was a, was a choke on the rope from Xander Keys. Listen. I see two extremely hair-challenged men in the ring who shouldn't pull hair if it was. Yo, just because the ref doesn't have hair. Oh, look at that. A dirty choke by Xander. Uh, I didn't see anything. Talk about Rip Cannon eyes. Now, I do think that uh, Xander needs to focus on the man in the ring with him. Who, Trevor? Hey, <laughs> Mr. Magnificent. Look at the strength from our junior heavyweight champion. Nice suplex by Xander. Up in the ropes. Road break. That's that ring awareness for Mr. Magnificent there. Showing his veteran. Uh, no, he was probably awareness. reaching for like a water bottle and happened to grab the rope. Oh, leg drop in the corner. Here goes Xander up to the second rope. Gonna elevate himself. Maybe get some extra height on this next move here. Using gravity to his advantage. He's again, he's distracted though. Oh, oh. That was the best leg drop I've seen since Hulk Hogan. But is it going to get the job done? Nope. Rope break again. Can still have enough ring awareness to grab that rope. Kick out at two. Yeah, but that kick out by Mr. Magnificent was labored. That's because Xander's been week. beating him down like Zan the great champion he is. Xander seems to have a lot of issues keeping focus on his match right now. Because he's got these little tiny goblin children waving stickers in his face. It's distracting. All right, that was impressive, but then that dude can get up that high. Uh, and Xander, and Xander rolls himself out of the ring. Smart. Xander, That's a brilliant move. I will agree. Xander showing some great ring awareness there. Not as much experience as Mr. Magnus. Of course, he ends up going back to the side with, as you called them, goblin children. They're trolls. And they're giving him the USA chant again. We get it. We know. We're in America. Big whoop. It's in the ring to break the town. Do you guys think... When you're in another country, they cheer their own country. Think if we were in Mexico, they'd be like, Mexico, Mexico, Canada. No. I mean, if they had some rude guy from another country coming, kind of they might. What makes Xander rude, huh? Have you heard Driving those shoulders into the, into the midsection in the corner. He's, he's doing okay. He's doing okay. We need to talk about my raise later. Yeah. Beautiful uh, snapmare. Oh, yeah. Vicious choke. Yeah, that's right. It's track. under the chin, too. Yeah. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, he's got that, that set in real nice. Oh, giving oh. him a nookie. Going back to middle school with that trick. Yeah. That's almost. Did they do that in Dubai? How would I know? I'm from Brazil. Did they do that in Brazil? No, we're cultured. So you guys just showed each other's heads down toilet this thing. Huh? I assume it happened to you a lot. Wow. Listen here. Uh, Mr. Magnificent is slowly fading. You might as well. Up, up. He's, he's got life. He's got a little life here. The crowd's chanting for him. He's feeding off that energy. It looks like he's been feeding off a lot more than energy. All right. I'm driving him into the corner. Pulls him back in, drives Xander one more time into the corner. Not once, not twice, uh, but Making thrice. a circle. Oh, splashed into the corner. Xander falls. And Mr. Magnificent, Magnificent. going up. Oh, uh-oh. Oh! Uh -oh. oh. Beautiful splash. Rope break. You want to talk about great ring awareness. That was great ring awareness. We've seen great ring awareness from both these men. Here. No, only from Xander. He was reaching for your power aid. 
Xander only hydrates on the finest mineral water straight from the wells of Dubai. He doesn't drink crap Powerade. into the side. He calls that the keys to success. That's what Xander calls it. And that's all there is. And clearly it's named right because he was successful in taking out the trash that you call Mr. Magnificent. Oh, and he just got called out by one of the, the, fan, the young fans here in the front row. Not wanting the referee to raise his hand up, Xander Keys. A sore winner, you might say. There's no such thing as a sore winner. You know who made that up? Losers. Oh, uh, he, he wants his flag. They're waving their flags. He's waving his. I'll give it to him. He represented the country of the UAE very well here today with Victor and Mr. Magnus. Oh. Uh, and that, that's a bozo move. Oh, insult to injury. There. Looks like the international superstars are 2 0 for the day. I won for Brazil, and he won for the UAE. Wow, we're going to show up. We can't show up. Wow. R. R. W. C. C. Being joined by RJ. RJ, how are you feeling there? Oh, man. He probably doesn't feel anything right now. There's a reason why AJ is the world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, there is more of AJ, literally one of the best athletes in the planet. Is it hard to go back there and call him out and say you wanted to match with him today? Yeah, I really wanted to prove myself. Been in the training academy, grinding, working for it, and to know that we had a new world champion, I just wanted to make an impact here in Maxton. Ladies and gentlemen, this next Now we're about to see both our tag team champions, Jim Stone, come out. Correction, he is one half of the tag team champion. And last night at Golden Opportunity, he tried to eliminate his tag team partner, but came up a little short. Listen here, you haven't been here long enough to give me any corrections. And you want to talk about coming up short? I think you came up a little short not too long ago. So how about you sit there and let me talk about our tag team champions. One half of the tag team champion again, sir. Yeah, and there, was like a, a, there was a heated back and forth last night between Jim Stone and his tag team partner, Jose Flex, over the me and we tag team champion. Uh, Jim telling code name Flex, we is not in his vocabulary. He tried to eliminate him over the top rope, and as you said, Codename Flex was able to uh, save himself and then eliminate Jim Stone. So we may have some dissension in the ranks in our uh, tag team champions. And also, Justin, how is he the tag team champions? Where's the ch where's the titles? Do you think he would bring out the belts for Maxton, North Carolina? Maxton deserves to see champions in Ring North Carolina. Well, they did see our champion, our world heavyweight champion, as he tore you apart. You got a point, but like I said, I took him to distance. Here comes our DJ himself. Well, guess what? It's not about the journey, it's about the destination. And the destination was your grave. But unlike you, I was victorious today. So last night, the Golden Opportunity Rumble, these two had a uh, confrontation exchanging some uh, heavy hands in the, in the corner. Let's see if they uh, continue. That's right. Let's see if they continue where they left off last night. Well, G Money likes to say he's your DJ's favorite DJ, but guess what? I don't listen to the radio, like most Americans. I have an aux cord in my thing. Oh, putting the headphones on our referee. 
this contest, man, this is between two of one of the great, this is one of the greatest rivals in Ring Wars history between Gemstone and G Money. Their last battle at homecoming and then a no count out. Let's see what, what, how it ends tonight. G Money put his headphones on Gemstone, and Gemstone is trying not to uh, say that he likes it. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Uh, oh, the crowd's giving it to Jim. Ref doing the checks. You know what they say what's cooler than being cool? Ice cold, just like diamonds. The diamond in the rough. And we'll see when he goes toe to toe with the radio rock star, G. Monet. I'm doing on my time, okay? Ooh. Ooh. The crowd is giving it to uh, our tag team champion. Tag team champions. 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 Champion. He's a champion. This match starts with an intense lockup, but both men break away. Stare, staring each other down. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Ooh. referencing the uh, the heavy hands from last night. Jim Stone asking G Money how his back is today. And again, these two go for a lockup. Back. Oh, I will say this about G: his gear is pretty nice. One thing, he does have very nice gear. A lot of drip. Ring. But also, one thing you have to give G credit for, he can actually lock up with Gemstone. Test and of still strength stand. in the middle of the ring. I don't have to give G anything. I already gave him one compliment. I'm not giving him another one. All we right. tried. Oh! Ooh. What a Gem devastating Gemstone slap. Gemstone turned that into a uh, heavy hand across the face. Oh! And then a boot. To the midsection. Oh, and then a strike Elbow. to the corner. Whips him into the other corner. Oh, G Money goes wow, over. Wow, the athleticism. Oh! Wow! And the crowd is behind G on that one. What do you got to say about that, Storm? Jeez. Couldn't be me, though. Oh! G gets an arm drag out of him. And follows it up with a hip toss. My goodness. And rock kick. He likes to call that the drip drop kick for all the style that he puts into it. Yeah. All right, that's the last compliment I'm going to give this man. Right. No, it's not. Oh, elbow. He's got Jim kind of staggered here. Gets him ready for a snap, Mayor. Oh. And, man, the momentum on G Money is phenomenal. Move to move right now. That's phenomenal. I don't see AJ Styles anywhere around here. It was all right. G Money is uh, basically following. Oh, his, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, that was. He gave, he gave Jim just a little bit of breathing room. Wow. Whoa. Now, that was a phenomenal splash into the corner. I have to admit, I won't say phenomenal, but man, Jim Stone is a. <laughs> yeah, that was is it giving you flashbacks from when he beat you last night? He did cause you to lose your soul there for about 15 seconds last night. He did, and I gotta give Jim his respect. He's one tough competitor. In fact, weren't you one of the first entrants thrown over the ring? Yes, I was. Huh? How were you last night, though? Huh? In the Golden Opportunity Rumble. He's told us a couple of times he didn't lose. That's right, I didn't lose. Oh wow! Oh, nice move, Jim with the fisherman the suplex. suplex. That's right. That's because Jim Stone, our tag team champions, champion. is super athletic, strong. The man has everything you look for in a professional wrestler. If, I'm, if, I, was in, if I was playing a video game and I had to create a character with straight, with straight power and speed, I would deny that Jim Stone would be that character. Using the ropes to his advantage. Only a child like you would play video games. Uh, with G, G Money and Oh, wow! That is a big boot. Drop kick. And he gets such hype on those kicks. Oh, and it's, oh, Mr. Cannon has come out. It's Whip Cannon. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> it looks like a Rip is in, inserting himself into the match. And our, 
our owner, Dex Carter, is kind of looking on, trying to understand what exactly is going on. Do y'all agree? I think I should be in the net. He has get, got the, uh, the mic. Here's Dex Carter. Who'd he call? Oh! oh. 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 Our heavyweight champion wow. is coming back out. Now, RJ, I know you're a little nervous because those are two guys that beat you back to back in Gemstone and our heavyweight champion. But don't worry. I got your back. I'll protect you. I can handle myself, but man. What he means by that is he will be standing behind you when they come over here. Yeah, everybody knows I got a little bit more fight than Justin Storm. Do you guys and the crowd oh, wants to wow. see it. They're Somebody doesn't have the time to On the fly it. change to the, the match card. You know what, referee? I'll allow it. And Dex makes the call. We have a tag team match underway. So, so wait a second. G Money and Gemstone have to fight together as a team. This might not work out too well. well. We'll see. Well, it's not like AJ's tired from his match earlier. He wasn't wrestling anybody. I'm right here, Storm. Are you, though? Yes. Oh, and our, our heavyweight champion basically just told G Money and Gemstone that this is his ring, and he has decided that he wants the main event, which is his prerogative. He's earned it. As we said earlier, he's one hey. half of the uh, NWA Tag Team Champions. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Could there probably be some dissension with Rip Cannon and the world champion? I think there may have been some money exchanged to get AJ to come out here on Rip's behalf. Maybe, maybe. And Rip wants to start it off to redeem himself after that push that G just gave him. If I was Rip, I would start too. All right. Uh, G Money and Jim Stone saying they'll put aside their differences one time because, well, rips across the ring from them. Well, on one side of the ring, we have two guys who won matches earlier in the day. You know who another person that won their match today is? I don't want to. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wow. One of you has common sense. What about you, RJ? Do you know who else won their match today? I know, and I'm not going All to right. acknowledge it. Rip. You know who didn't win their match today? Rip and Jim Stone are going to start out night? on the ring together. I said today, child. But you did put All up right, a good fight. Children, children. Hey, focus on the match at hand, not on each other. Shh. Women are going to be seen and not heard. Oh. Woo. Wow. AJ just asked one of the, the members of the crowd to uh, be seen and not heard. Rip. And Rip is getting some last-minute stretches <laughs> within the match. He's probably going to break out and dance at any minute now. God, I hope he doesn't dance. To be honest, if I was Rip Cannon, what would be your strategy to go against such a diamond in the rough like Jim Stone? Go tag the, in AJ. I was going to say, go to the corner and <laughs> tag in our heavyweight champion. <laughs> I want to give Rip a little bit more credit here that he has at least a fighting chance against Jim. Oh, he does have a fighting chance, but he's have, he has more of a chance if he's standing on the apron and watching AJ fight Jim Stone. And see, Jim, I mean, Rip, my mistake, my eyes been mistaken, it is Rip that starts off with the headlock. I guess AJ knocked you a little too loopy earlier. Jim laying the elbows in. Oh! oh. That was wow. a car crash. Rip, Rip got up and went, I want to do that again. Rip is asking for Bane. Oh my gosh. Some kids just don't learn. Rip Cannon's one of them. I have a feeling that he wants another. Third time's the charm. Okay. I think we'll get it on this one. Rip Cannon's got heart. We got to admire that. Oh. Uh, and they're, Jim is they're giving working them. Out. 
They're working at how they're going to do this. Um, oh, oh my oh gosh, my God. what an intent. My goodness. And Whip goes to the corner. And, oh, man, the tag oh, is made to G. Oh, good. and Jim that's is laying in straights. Good. Yeah, Rip, Rip went to the corner, and G-Money is being tagged in, and he is getting ready to uh, and, drop an elbow oh on Rip. G goes for the cover, but Rip kicks out at two. After those two car collision uh, meetings in the middle of the ring, now G-Money's dropping elbows, and Rip is getting ready to be thrown into a, corn, a turnbuckle. And Rip, oh, oh, the athleticism of Rip yeah. and oh, 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 G. G blocked it. Rip tried to throw G Money, and G Money used his, his uh, legs to block it. And now Rip is questioning whether he made the right decision. Jim is just taunting Jim Rip. Is, Jim is just giving him the business over here, telling him he doesn't weigh enough. And oh my goodness! Another tag. And the tag nice, was made. Nice tag. What do these two have under their sleeve? So for two oh guys. Goodness. For two guys that were beating each other up ten minutes ago, they uh, they have decided to take out their frustrations on Rip. I can't believe they're doing this in front of Rip's family like this. It, yeah, it might and be Rip, a crime. Rip, it might be a crime. Makes uh, Rip Rip just crawled to the corner and he's begging AJ to come in. All right, and AJ accepted graciously accepted the tag. Whoa, these two men against each other. Um, something for the ages. This ought to be interesting. That's a whole lot of meat in the ring. A brute and diamond went into a bar, and guess what happened? A fight broke out. And guess who crawled out? R.J. Weaver. Uh, Rip crawled out. Oh. <laughs> wow. I think he just told me oh. to take notes. As we said earlier, one half of our NWA Tag Champion. Going up against our RWC Tag Team Champion. Oh, they are the working. Man, they are just working. The teamwork this is illegal. Jim and G. This is illegal. Wow, AJ and G Money working it in the corner. Changing uh, fist a snap with and AJ. a tag was made. They've got a tag. Yep. Up. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Up. Oh, here it goes. G Money with a splash. It, AJ not even, kicks out at two. It, it was personally one. I didn't even hear the ref call two. And oh, the world champion oh. fights back and wow. puts G in the corner. He is goring him with those shoulders in the corner. And in rip, place oh. for Rip. Rip with a flying elbow. Oh, now he's driving his shoulders into him. Delivering these tackles, man. Rip. Oh. Look at the gracefulness. Oh. Oh. Rip. And G kicks out at two. <laughs> AJ is uh, giving him. Directions to tag directions. And the world champion is back in action and delivers an impressive blow to G. AJ uh, just disrespecting the referee. Yeah, and oh! Up, up, up. Up. This was a far He's got a point. The referee didn't say anything where he's getting jumped in the corner. This is a different this is a different than I fought earlier today. Gets him into the rope, gives him a back elbow. You call that a fight earlier? I mean, you did have athleticism, heart. You gave it your all. What but is guess AJ what? setting him up for? What is the world right. champion doing? Oh. Brilliant! Oh, Brilliant! He got so mo much momentum wow. from running the ropes that this wow. choke is more devastating. That is intelligence. And he's got AJ. Or he's got AJ has G Money right in the middle of the ring. 
opportunity for him to get to the ropes. Looks like he's putting G to sleep like G does every time he hits the turntables for Foxy 99. You know what? I'm really sick and tired of the G Money disrespect. Stop it. Could you even last two minutes in the ring with G Money? He's fading, so bro. G Money is fading. Oh, oh, wait, wait. The crowd's giving him a little bit of energy. Is G going to get back up? He's trying to fight out of it. Rolling around, loosening up that, that choke hold a little bit. Lays one striking, oh, and another, and another. Yes, sir. Breaks it, up, oh, reverse rip. What? Oh, yeah, rip caught G with, oh, the, my. with the knee to the back. What are you talking about? I didn't see a knee to the back. And he, he just tripped. And he struck Jim. And then AJ and, decided and to the take out Jim. And now, the referee is distracted enough to not even catch just the tactics between the world champion and Rip Cannon. What are you guys talking about? I'm only focused on Jim right now. Oh, he now, should probably get Jim Rip out of here. Rip has G-Money in the middle of the ring. Uh, oh, 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 and he's got this. Whoa, 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 whoa. He got caught. The referee caught Rip Cannon. Trying to use the ropes for leverage. His foot got, he jumped up and his foot got caught in the rope. What are you talking what about? Happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had his foot on the ropes and the ref caught him. Body strikes. And Jim is and Jim is trying to get G fired up. AJ is getting in the middle with the crowd. Jim trying to get G money. He's giving the tag. Lean to make sure G, uh, Jim has a hold of that tag rope. He clearly has the tag rope. Just making sure. And a oh my oh my God. God. Wow! Wow! Now, can G-Money make the tag? That swinging sideways slam, man. That was so impressive. Jim's hey, 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 watch him in that tag rope. He needs to be holding that tag rope. Jim's got to get to the corner, though. Then again, Rip also needs to get to the corner because I think they're both uh, wondering where they are at the moment. Well, half of Rip's that way well, and the other half is the other way. Wait, Rip, Rip's crawling to the Rip wrong corner. Rip the wrong corner. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Got a tag. There we go. What? Uh, Oh my I, goodness! I think Rip might have gotten sold out by his tag team partner, AJ, there. Uh oh. Jim! Oh my god! Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness! Wow. <laughs> That's an impressive power bomb. Is Rip Cannon's soul even intact to his soul or up into his body right now? It was a simple power bomb. Relax. Let's see what happens. What? AJ has oh. decided to, oh. to leave. Up. And AJ to list the partner. And G gets the cover. And the yeah, team. I'd leave that loser too, because clearly he wasn't cutting it to be in the ring with our world champion. Oh, so you're saying you're cut to be the so partner with our world champion. So now let, let's see how this goes. And like you and like our announcer just announced, the winners of the match is the team of Jim and G Money. Well, if AJ would have had a fitting partner to go along with himself, I don't think the outcome would have been the same. But alas, here are your winners, G-Money and our world tag team champions. Champion. Both of them. Just Jim a single champion. Stone. Rip probably should, should leave while he can because he's still in the ring acting like he won with G-Money and Jim's. Oh. oh. He didn't get away in time. Oh. oh, oh. This could what, be bad. What, what do they got? What's in tech? Oh, oh my, my goodness! That wow. Was, that you guys already thing. beat the man, and now you want to do some cheap, dirty tactics? What's wrong with Jim? What's wrong with G's arm? The little chemistry. He is scratching the turntables, man. What are you talking about? I wish they would scratch their way out of this ring. You know what? You get in the ring and try to fight me. Right. That was one. I did get in the ring earlier, it. and I won. No, but with G and Jim. Go ahead. Luckily for me, that was the end of the main event. That means my time with you two losers, you know especially what? You, know you, what? you can go. has come you to an leave. end. You can leave. I'll see you guys next time. And next time I see you, hopefully you're not talking so much. Hopefully next goodbye time I see you. and good night. Good night. Hopefully next time I see you is in the ring. <laughs>